Hi there, I'm Dana with WholeHealthDana.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make cherry limeade. Um, it's kind of a fun summer drink. It doesn't take too many ingredients and um, it's, it's pretty fast. So. Now I am going to fresh press these. I have this wonderful citrus press that um, a good friend gave me and I hope she's watching because Sarah, I love this. Okay, so that took about five limes, and they're little limes, um, tiny little things, and that gave me just maybe over half of a cup. So next we're going to combine all of the ingredients in our blender and mix it up. So first off, a half a cup of fresh lime juice. And I have tried to make this before with store-bought lime juice. It does not work well, so I would recommend either get fresh limes or don't make it at all. Uh, you need a fourth of a cup of honey, and I have some, um, some raw local honey right here. Um, if you can find raw local honey, that is the variety you should be trying to get. If not, try to find a, um, a raw organic. Um, and then first off, I'm going to mix just these two ingredients um, because one of the hardest things for me to do is to get the honey um, completely blended in. So I'm just going to start it on low for just a, a moment or so. Okay, so that was just a few moments. Now we're going to add in about eight ounces of um, frozen cherries. Um, now I bought a I bought a big bag of them at Costco, but all they had were tart cherries. So my cherry limeade's not going to be probably as sweet as yours might be. that for about 60 seconds or so um, and now you have really you have two options um, the directions that the instructions I found and I actually got this off to drx.com um, earlier this summer and I've made it a couple times it's really good um, but sometimes I just make up the cherry mixture and then put it in a jar and store it in my refrigerator until I want to use it and then I just make it on a case-by-case basis, I guess, whenever it is that I want to have some. Um, but it says to put it with um, Pellegrino. I've got Perrier today, so that's what we'll be using. Um, and the directions say that you can, um, well, it says to put all of the ingredients in the blender, which I assume means the Pellegrino. Um, the carbonation kind of frightens me, so to this point, I have not done that. Um, I've just mixed them separately, um, which is all, also another story. You should be careful when you do that because when you add the carbonation to this, sometimes it explodes. So anyway, that being said, up until this point, I have been afraid to combine this in the blender because I didn't know what it's going to do. Um, so today we're going to give it a try. Um, so I've got um, our mixture here. And we're going to add, this is just a, it's like a, almost a 12 ounce um, bottle of um, Perrier. I'm going to pour it in. It's, it's foaming quite a bit. All right, you ready? I'm just going to do it on low. I don't want it to go crazy or anything. Okay, now you have cherry limeade. All right, wait for it. Mm. It's very tart, which is the way I like it. Um, if you like your stuff to be more sweet, you either need to add more honey or you need to buy um, sweet cherries instead of tart cherries. Um, so thank you for joining me today on making cherry limeade. If you like this recipe and like to see more, join me at www.wholehealthdana.com. If you'd like to follow me on social media, um, use the links below. And otherwise, have a great day and we'll see you next time.